In this video, we're gonna take a look at the Topps Taliban Takedown. Uh, greetings, everyone, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome if it's your first time here. Um, this knife was given to me for review purposes, and I'm gonna show it to you in this video, the Topps Taliban Takedown, and we're gonna go through some of its features and its qualities, and that's pretty much all I'm gonna do in this video. And we'll start from the outside. We've got a nice Kydex sheath. And I can tell you right now that the retention is extremely strong on this particular model. And uh, we've got the tops rotating belt clip. So you could carry this scout style and you could carry it vertical. Really nice. And you can adjust it as well. You've got a couple of screws here if you, you need to. Of course, it comes with the obvious Tops whistle, which I think comes with pretty much every one of their knives, but maybe not on all of them. I'm assuming all of them. Here we've got the overall impressions, not too bad. I would say we're probably in the nine inch area right about now. All right, so let's take this out. Very solid indeed. And here you have the Tops Taliban takedown. We've got a Tonto on a chisel with some serrations. Blade steel is 1095 as it is not marked 154 cm or anything like that on the blade. So I'm only assuming that it's 1095 high carbon. We can come in a little bit closer on the, looks like gray micarta with some white liners or silver liners in there. I really like the way the jimping is done on this. Very good looking, very well done, fit and finish, very nice. Of some of the other models that I've seen recently have the um, screws here where you can take the scales off. This one here, I don't think you can do that, obviously. And there you can see the micarta linen kind of showing a little bit there. Very nice, uh, medium sized glove. And I think if you had a large hand, this would still be very comfortable. Give you an idea there. Again, we're not too wide and we've got some nice contouring going on on the edges. So it's very comfortable in hand. Very, very comfortable indeed. So we've got a blade length of four and one eighth of an inch. That's from the tip to this point here and a total of eight and a half inches. And here on the side, you've got the tops logo the tops taliban takedown and on the opposite side you've got made in usa and there is the chisel grind this blade is coming in at three sixteenths of an inch thick it is a solid pry bar very cool and there's a nice look at the tip of the tonto you can see it's nice and thick Definitely a pry bar. Not sure if it's going to be a very good slicer, of course, but with the name that it is, I don't know that it was meant to be. There's that Topps coating. Overall, a very good feeling knife. I notice it's the opposite of Emerson knives. Emerson has the chisel on this side. And this one is this way. I think I remember back in the day, people used to say that uh, Emerson had it backwards. Without actually testing this knife, it's impossible for me to tell. So one more time, let's try out the retention on this and listen to that snap. Very solid, very positive. Yeah, quite like that. So that's the Topps Taliban takedown. I hope you enjoyed this video. I've got a few more Topps knives to show you before this series is done. I'll get back to the Into the Woods series coming very soon. Bye for now.